What's up guys, welcome back, Dane's Great Journey, checking back in with you guys. Another video in our video series, Peak Level Performance Training. This is going to be episode four, and before we get started guys, there's a little bit of background noise. You might be able to hear it, you might not. So I'm going to keep my uh, you know, voice loud enough for you guys to hear my voice over that sound outside, just some stuff going on in the backyard. So, without any further interruption, we're going to start. Another thing too. If you haven't watched any of the other videos in the series on peak level performance, go ahead and stop this video now and go back and watch those other videos because they're really building on each other and we talk about purpose, we talk about goal setting, stuff that you really need to know before getting into getting high levels of energy, being able to attain you know, peak level performances, performances of state of mind and just being able to get a lot done. So watch those videos before guys. And then we'll get back into this video and uh, so you can uh, be all caught up. Okay, so I'm really excited about video four, guys. We're going to start really diving into uh, peak level performance, energy management. It's, it's going to be really exciting, guys. So the first thing I wanted to talk about in this video, we're going we're to cover a couple things. But the first thing I want you to think about is, you know, when we talk about time management, we talk about productivity, getting things done, there's something that always comes up, and that's time management. How do I manage my time more effectively? How do I you know, go about structuring my day in a way that I can get a lot done? I can manage my time. But see guys, what I want you to think about is not so much time management, but how can you effectively manage your energy? Because what it really comes down to is your energy levels and having lots of energy, because the more energy you have, the more things you get done. How can you manage your time if you don't have energy? How can you get things done if you don't have energy, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling like you can't perform at your best because you're tired, guys? So let's start thinking about more so energy management. How do we, how do we effectively manage our energy to then get a lot more done, thus having time management take care of itself and all, okay? So it's really a game of energy management, okay, guys? So think about how can I manage my energy not so much how can I manage my time, because if we don't have energy, we're not going to get a lot done. Our time management is going to not be effective, okay guys? So now we're going to get into energy management and what, really, what does it really take to get to those peak level performance states, okay? So before we get into it, I'm going to talk to you about something that I want you to think about, which is super important. It's called ultradian rhythms. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it exactly right, but this is what I learned in that book that I referred to in the last video. And what, what an ultra, ultradium rhythm is, is your body goes through these cycles, guys, throughout the entire day. And it's a 90 to 120 minute cycle where your body, and the reason your body goes through these cycles is to fluctuate and control your energy. And you'll go from anywhere from 90 to 120 minutes where you feel really good, and then your body will need to recover. And if you don't recover, then it screws up that rhythm that your body, that natural flow of how your body is supposed to, you know, recoup and then expend energy. Your body expends energy and then it recovers and to recover to then expend more energy. So once we become conscious of this, guys, we can then play that to our advantage of how to help ourselves get more energy. Okay. So our body goes, so that's what I want you to think about. Your body goes up and then your body goes down in terms of Output and then recovering to get more energy to then expend more energy again. So guys, it's that rhythm of, a, of about 90 to 120 minutes where we have that good sustained levels of energy and then it goes down and we have to recover. So now you might be asking, how do I recover my energy? And that's such an important question we need to talk about next, guys. Because with energy management, you have to recover. Now I want you to think about something that relates to this, a metaphor if you will. Think about a pro athlete. What do pro athletes do? They train and they recover. They train and they recover. They train and they recover. Think about a pro football player. They will train about 90% of their time to play about 10% of the time. Think about that, guys. Think about how long the football game is. Think about the short bursts of energy expenditure and then recovering, getting back in the huddle. Energy expenditure, getting back in the huddle, recovering. So they're training systematically to perform that way. 
So we have to think about we have to think about managing our energy in the same way athletes manage and expend their energy. They train hard for lots lots of time and then recover. So it's this whole way of training our energy systems like an athlete to work with our 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 natural way of our body being able to feel good and have energy to expend and then recover. Expend and then recover. You know, athletes will eat, they'll train, they'll recover, they'll eat, they'll train, they'll recover. There's a systematic process they go through into being able to perform at peak level performance states, guys. So we have to do it the same way. And what does the average person do when you think about it? What does the average person do when they go through their average day? You work hard for a couple hours, right? Maybe 60 minutes to 120 minutes, maybe longer than that. Then you start to feel a little bit tired. This is normal, guys. But the whole thing that I want you to grasp here is how do you, what do you go about doing when you start to feel a little bit tired? Do you grab another coffee? You have a donut? You have something to spike your insulin to give you a little bit more energy to go a little bit longer? Because if that's the case, then we are actually not giving our body the right ways of recovering to then exp expend more energy. So the average person will have coffee, will have a donut, will have something to get them back up to keep going longer. When in reality, our body wants us to recover and then go again to be able to fuel us the right way. So, now I'm gonna give you some, I hope you understand all that guys, how our body goes through these rhythms of peak of energy expenditure, energy recovery, and it, throughout the entire day. So if we know that and we can work with that, then we can perform better, we can manage our energy, thus getting more done, thus effectively managing our time, okay? So, what do you do to recover? What are ways to recover? So, a way to recover is you need to rechannel what you're doing. So if I'm on the computer, 60 minutes, typing away, typing away, typing away, and then I need to recover, I'm going to get up and I'm going to do something completely different. Walk around the office, um, take a five minute break and just think. Maybe me the best ways to recover guys are walking, meditating, and doing something that just gets you to clear your mind for about five to 20 minutes. So, like I said, 90 to 120 minute windows, right? So if you were to work hard for 90 minutes and then you wanted to recover, you're feeling a little bit tired, you can, you can go from five to 10 minutes and that's completely fine. Five to 10 minutes, maybe 10 minutes would be best. And recover, do something else that rechannels your energy. You can even take like a, a quick 10 minute nap. That's fine too, but something to give your system recovery to then get ready to expend energy again. And the way I want you guys to think about this too, is when you work for those, those certain amounts of time, 90 to 120 minutes, time that time. Let your brain know that you're gonna be going for a certain amount of time, okay? So that's super important. Like when all, it's, it's like a block of time that I'm gonna work and then I'm gonna go do something else and rechannel. So I'll set a timer on my clock for anywhere from 90 to 120 minutes, click it, my brain knows, all right, we gotta work. And I simply focus in on what I'm doing for that amount of time and then right when the clock goes off, I'll rechannel my focus, I'll go meditate, I'll go sit, not think about anything, recover, like my body wants me to do, then go back and hit another block for another 90 to 120 minutes, okay guys? So it's training my system like an athlete trains. We go hard, we recover. We go hard, think about high intensity interval training. You task your system, you expend that energy, and then you recover to get more energy back to go again. Just like the athlete trains, the same way guys, they train hard, to go for a small amount of time, just like a football game. So we have to train the way our body wants us to train, wants us to recover. So we don't have to screw with our energy systems by drinking coffee and going a little bit longer and not giving us our body the recovery time that we need. And that's what I really want you guys to focus on in this video, is our body needs certain ways to recover. It needs us to rechannel our focus onto something else that um, lets us recover, lets us get more energy back and then goes hard. If you guys can think about this and input it into your life, even just, um, even if you don't time your work, even if you're at work and just thinking about re-channeling your focus to something else and then doing that and then coming back and working hard, you're gonna have more energy, guys. I've tried this, I've implemented it into my routine before um, not knowing this, I tried it and it helped so much. Like my body, I was giving my body exactly what it needed. I was going, then I was recovering. I was going, then I was recovering, okay guys? So just to recap what we just talked about today, guys, so you can go and take this and actually see how it has a dramatic effect in your life, is we need to know that our body goes through these natural states, these ultradian rhythms of 
expending and recovering energy. And we have to go with that flow. We have to train our systems like an athlete, guys. Okay? That's the first thing. Okay? We've got to train our systems like an athlete. And then we need to input this into our lives. Okay? So we have to create these times throughout the day where we go hard and then we recover. We go hard and then we recover. Okay, guys? So I hope that made sense. I'm not going to go into the other things I wanted to talk about today just because I want you to focus in on this. I want, you to think about, I want you to think about one time of the day where you can set up a block in your day where you go for 90 to 120 minutes and then you recover for about 20 minutes. And then we can build upon that. But try that now. See how it works for you. If you guys can put this into your life, it's going to help you. It's going to help you. It's going to help you go with your natural body's way of recouping energy and expending energy, okay? So thanks so much for watching, guys. In the next video, we'll talk about the energy systems because you have multiple ways of recouping and expending energy. And we have to align all those ways in order to, for us to feel fully engaged in our work, fully alive, and just uh, you know excited about what we're doing. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Dane's Great Journey, checking out. I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys next time.